The sixth reason why we should leave the city is because of pestilence. When major diseases break out, they hit the cities in particular very hard often because of the dense population. You know what it's like when you go to work, if you work in the city and one person has the flu, before long the whole office has the flu and the uh, ventilation systems in the buildings tend to propagate the disease very, very quickly. So workplaces are notorious for picking up diseases uh, and also schools. So if Yahweh brings judgment in the form of plagues and pestilence, whether they're man-made or natural, the cities are a bad place to be in. You know, we've had the bird flu and then the swine flu. And, you know, I think a lot of this is a media exercise. And though they may indeed be real viruses, I don't think any more have died from these than just the normal flu. But it is the shape of things to come. We may have a real contagion that really kills people in plague proportions, not just ones and twos. So once these things begin to break out, it's kind of too late to get away. You may survive by the grace of God, for sure, but this is a reason to get out while you still can. Get out from the cities. And Yahweh says that if we keep his commandments, then none of the plagues of Egypt will affect us. But it's a, a good precaution is not to be there in the first place. You know, Lot should not be living in Sodom. And it's sad, but our, our cities are becoming little Sodoms or big Sodoms. And indeed, if Yahweh doesn't judge some of the big cities in America and Europe and elsewhere, uh, then uh, he'll have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. So we need to get out. The sixth, the seventh reason to leave the cities is because of violence. There are uh, many sorts of violence. There's domestic violence, and then there uh, is rioting. Uh, there's violence at work. There's violence in the nightclubs and pubs, places that believers really shouldn't be at, uh, certainly not after dark. We sh are children of light and we shouldn't be in such places. In England and America and elsewhere, there have been riots. These ones in London were during the uh, G20 gatherings and people can rightly protest against things that they disagree with. But often within even legitimate protests, there can be anarchist type people that only go there because they want to stir up trouble and create violence for the sake of violence. And sometimes the government and police can overstep the mark, but Yahweh has put the government and the police there to maintain order. And sometimes People disagree with what the government's doing, and that's fair enough, but uh, we're not to get involved with fighting police, or uh, the police shouldn't be overly brutal with protesters either. But when there is tough economic times, and when there is a lack of food, a lack of employment, and there are diseases around or people just feel that their needs are not being met or their voice is not heard or the government's corrupt or whatever the problem is people can take to the streets and and there can be rioting and looting and discontent sometimes things can be simmering under the surface for a while in greece there was some protests in 2008 and great deal of public anger and if these sorts of things get out of hand they can, uh, they can make living in a city very unpleasant indeed. And that's w when we have too much of that sort of thing, it gives rise to greater police control and a police state. And that is the next reason that we need to get out of the city, because of a, an overly powerful police state. So that's what we're going to look at now. So the eighth reason to leave the city is because of an overly draconian police state. Now, we need police. They, are, they help keep us safe. And I'm not saying that being a policeman is a bad thing. It's a good thing. 
if done right. But sometimes a nation becomes so ungodly that evil men are governed by evil and wicked governments. And we are seeing the end or demise of Western democracy and the, the raising up of a draconian police state in places like America and Britain. And this is another reason why we should leave the cities and to separate ourselves as much as possible from a godless society and the godless governments that lead them. We can see that the police are beginning to change. They used to be the men in blue, and blue is the color of heaven, but they're now beginning to wear a lot of black, which is symbolic of darkness and wickedness and uh, evil. This uh, picture uh, from the internet apparently shows a Washington, D.C. riot policeman, all done up in his gear, looking quite intimidating. And that's the purpose of some of this gear, is not only to protect the policeman, which is fair enough, but also to intimidate. And have a look at this picture. It looks like something out of Star Wars, doesn't it? These chaps are apparently Peruvian anti-riot police. It's interesting that the police, the riot police all around the world are all beginning to wear black. It's almost like they're all the same, it's all the same system being placed everywhere. They're all being set up. This is draconian. This is demonic. It's, I'm not saying that they don't have a job to do. I say they often do. But look at what they're wearing. It, doesn't it remind you of something? Look at this chap. He's a, he's a TIE fighter from the Star Wars movie. Um, these guys are, are looking less and less human and more and more like the devil's men. And uh, I'm not against the police. But this is a reason we need to get out of this um, ungodly system because it's really beginning to show a face that is quite, quite wicked. These are Denver riot police ready to do the job and we will uh, see a lot more of this sort of stuff because the war on terrorism is not really a war against the Muslims because they're coming into Australia and America and Britain by the droves. No, this war on terrorism is actually a war on our own rights, on our own liberties. And so you could say the Israelites or the lost tribes of the House of Israel are being oppressed in their own free lands. And it's not just the fault of the New World Order or the Masonics or the Illuminati. It's also corporately what we have all created through our neglect through our, our little compromises along the way. And it's really too late to save America as she was, or England. It's really a matter of getting out before, before destruction comes. So we need to get out from among them. The New World Order and the whole police state, it's just a phase that the society is going through. It's what you call a death phase. The antibodies, the police, if you like, in the uh, body, the corporate body of the nation are now beginning to attack the body itself, not the parasites. And these are simply the instruments of the destruction of the nation. So it's a passing phase. It's not the final goal of the New World Order. It's just a phase to bring about their, uh, the aftermath. That's what they're looking for the globalized Babylonian world government system after the smoke clears. So we need to get out from among them because the New World Order, one of its mottos is order out of chaos. But the only order that they bring out is more chaos. But Yahweh uses all of their plans and schemes to bring about his own purposes. You see, the kingdom of Yahweh is actually coming. And every time the New World Order makes a step forward, they actually make a step forward to their own destruction. But Israel slowly comes together. But uh, that, that's what's going on. And that's what this whole police state is about. And we need to, to get out from amongst them. The ninth reason to get out of the cities is because of natural disasters. 
you know, we're going to start seeing a lot of very powerful judgments from God. And it's not because of chlorofluorocarbons, and it's not because of anything else but the godlessness of the nation. That's why all these natural disasters are coming about. They're coming about because they are part of Yahweh's judgment. And it doesn't matter what laws the United Nations enacts. Yahweh is going to destroy Egypt, the Egypt of this world. Not just the nation of Egypt, but what Egypt represented, which was a prison. A prison. Egypt comes from the idea of being constrained and pressed down and oppressed and imprisoned. And so Yahweh is going to bring judgment upon Pharaoh Satan's Egypt of this world. We need to get out of the cities because there will come a time when some cities are destroyed by tidal waves. Others might be destroyed by some other natural disaster. Some might be destroyed by nuclear weapons. And when the bomb goes off, that's it. If you're at ground zero, you get cooked. And it doesn't matter what faith or persuasion you are, um, you're going to be dead. So we need to see times that we're living in, as I've said so often before, and get out. We need to get out of the cities and walk by faith and not by sight. And what does it take?